Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the GSI Outdoors griddle. This is going to give you a nice wide cooking surface over your camping stove to allow you to cook up a mess of flapjacks, make a big omelet, breakfast sandwich, whatever you might want to be putting on here. The thing that's kind of cool about this is that it has this kind of laser etched design. I know it's going to be kind of hard for you to see. I'll try to bring it closer to the camera in a minute. but. What that does is it kind of combines the benefits of having a stainless steel surface, but it does have Teflon, so there's that's kind of like honeycombed, but the part that's raised is the metal, and the part that's sunken in or recessed is the part that has the Teflon. So you can still use a spatula or a steel spatula over this and not worry about scraping up that Teflon, but it's going to still allow anything that gets down into that little recessed area to not grab on and stick, if that makes sense. So should be kind of the best of both worlds as far as being non-stick, but still scrapable with a metal utensil. Now, this is fairly thin, so it's not gonna be comparable to like a cast iron griddle that is just a solid chunk of metal that will never move. A lot of folks have said that this will warp under high heat, so that's something to keep in mind. But I have seen a lot of folks say like, yes, it does warp under high heat, but then if you let it cool and maybe just gently apply some pressure it'll come back to true so it's not that big of, of an issue so that's something to keep in mind again if you're going to be making something like eggs that don't require super high heat i think it's going to work out really well and it should just be a nice way to maximize that cooking space on the top of your cooking stove so let's take a little closer look at it and talk a little bit more about the specs in detail so we do have two handles on one on either side uh, or a handle on either side so it makes it easy to transport whatever you've got especially if you want to kind of lay everything out beforehand and then just put it onto your stove uh, maybe if you're doing something like french toast or uh, again making pancakes and you want to kind of have them all laid out I, you, whatever you want to do as far as the measurements without the handles is it's about 17-ish mm, inches with the handles it's about 19-ish in inches and then it's about 11 inches deep or wide the depth again without the handles is under an inch about 5 8 with the handles it's about 1 and 5 8 inch it weighs about two pounds I'm going to bring this closer so you can see the design cut in there and see what I mean. So like in the, the black part, that's the Teflon, and the raised part is, uh, is steel. So you don't have to worry about scraping against that. The core or the bottom po portion is aluminum. So that cuts down on some of the weight and also helps to distribute the heat more evenly. But again, I would probably try to keep your heat too low or medium. You don't want to just blast this with heat because it will probably warp on you. Uh, but if it does, it, sh it seems like it's pretty easy to bring it back to true, give it a little bit of um, coaxing to do that. And honestly, I feel like it's, it's fairly... Um, it's not super thick because it's not like a... a um, cast iron but it does feel pretty good like I can't really bend this as it is so it's not flimsy in your hands uh, it's just a lot of folks I've seen out there who've used it have have made that comment so I want to pass that along to you but that's pretty much all there is to it for our quick look at the gourmet griddle I hope that this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right piece for you it should make a nice addition to any kind of car camping or RV setup and we do have a lot more gear here at eTrailer.com to that end and a whole bunch of RV parts in general so be sure to check those out right here at eTrailer.com and thanks for watching